it's worth knowing that your bank login, your username and password are just as exposed as your credit card data. Perhaps it's not written on a card and maybe it's not so easy to use as payment details work, but it's still available to be stolen. As I said before, phishing still happens. You can easily create a site where you can make people authorize themselves with your bank login details, like they're going to be in something or they're going to be able to purchase something at a very low price. Then you can send a phishing email claiming that one of the payments bounced and they have to log in. When you receive an email that states this payment has bounced, you have to log into your bank account to initiate the payment. As long as people fall for the scam, the bank details, different payment providers, and other facilitators all work in order to authorize you as their bank account holder and make some small charges on your account, which you have to verify.